Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome to part two of the basics of AI in Unreal Engine 4. So in the previous uh, tutorial, we made this AI choose a random point and move to that random point. This is what we completed. So this sequence is the random part. So we need to add some more behavior uh, to follow the player. So get the player location and stuff. So we are going to do that in this tutorial. Okay, so we'll start by uh, selecting this, se uh, this sequence and we're going to rename this sequence. Okay, so now this is random location stuff. Connect the selector here, drag from the selector under the task and actually under the composite we need another sequencer. And this sequence will take care of the uh, player location, getting the player location and moving the AI to that location. Okay, so let's build up the logic. So we need to get uh, the player location. So for that, we need a new task. You can uh, create a new task by right clicking here, blueprint class and search for task and BT task blueprint base Add that. And we are going to rename this to get player location. Okay, so we have a get player location task. We need to add that in. So drag and we need to add our task. So get player location. So this task will be similar to the get random location. Again, the main difference will be that we are uh, not getting a random point. We are getting the player location. And now all the logic will go here. So first we need to add a, a receive execute AI. So we need to go here. So this event will trigger when this will execute right here. So now we need to add a finish execute as well. Just check this success right here. And now we need to calculate the player. So to get the player reference here, right click and get player character. You could also get player pawn, but I am using the get player character. We have the reference to our player character. We don't need to cast it. So I'll just use this like this and we need its uh, position. So its location. So we can just get the actor location. And I'm just going to compile this and save this and I'm going to come back in the behavior tree save this also go in the blackboard and we need another key another vector and this will show the player location okay so this is going to store the player location it is a vector type again and we are going to uh, store this in that blackboard key so it's quite simple set blackboard key so set blackboard key as vector we are going to connect this here, connect this here and this vector will go in the value and the key we are going to promote this to variable and we are going to call this variable something similar. So the player location, player lock and make this instance editable. So make this public. This is quite important because if you don't make this public, you cannot uh, see it in the behavior tree. So just make this public save compile do that stuff save this also go in the behavior tree and here you can see Unreal Engine has automatically selected the player location. If it is not selected, you can again select that in the drop down. So select the player location. So now we have calculated the player location in this task. So now what we need to do is we need to move the AI character to the player location. So the AI character should continuously chase the player. So we could use the move to event right here, but we'll have some issues in updating like this doesn't update per frame. So we are going to use our own task. So again, you can create a new task. So just create a new blueprint class and task select that. And this task will move uh, the character AI character to the player. So just move AI to player and uh, we are going to add this task right here task and move AI to player. Okay. So now I'm going to double click on this 
so now it's trying to use the perception system in unreal engine and we are going to start working on that so i'm going to minimize this and save everything i'm going to select the ai controller that we made ai con and this just runs the behavior tree but we need to add something called as a ai perception so just add that and this will give us some perception uh, capabilities we are going to add an element in the array of senses and we are going to change it to a sight one more setting is very important under the sense under the detection right here we are going to tick these on and now we are going to right click on this ai perception add event and we need a event called add on target perception updated so this is just an update event so it will update whenever the target perception is updated okay now we need to drag off from here from the stimulus and we need to break this so we can break this again and as you can see we have this successfully sensed so this will control the boolean that will switch between two sequences so now we are going to go in the blackboard and we are going to add a new blackboard key and this key is going to be called can see player select the behavior tree we are going to add some conditions here so right click and add a decorator and a decorator is a basically a conditional thing we can add a cooldown we can add a loop we can add a time limit so we'll add a blackboard condition blackboard based condition i'm going to do the same thing here the condition will be is not set so is false so is set means it is true is not set means it is false and can see player so this is basically saying if it cannot see the player it will just randomly move so you can just rename it here and i'll just make sure that this is true and the can see player boolean is selected so this will execute when the can see player boolean is false and this will execute when can see player boolean is set that means it is true now we need to set this boolean via the ai controller so in the ai controller we have this and we need to constantly set that boolean so the way we do that is we are going to hook this successfully sensed thing to that boolean so we are going to equate that for that we need the blackboard so get blackboard we just get the blackboard and we are going to set the key set value as bool we need to manually provide a name right here a key name so we are going to use a node called make literal name so this is basically the literal key name so if you go in the blackboard this is the variable name so i'll just copy this and i'll go back in the ai controller and i'm going to paste this right here now we need to do one more thing in the ai controller we have added the ai perception thing but we have to add the perception stimulus we have to add one more component in our player itself add a component right here and we are going to add a ai perception stimuli source and this will tell the ai system that this is a source and we need to change some settings right here just add a element and this will be sensed for sight so the ai agents can sense this for sight okay so now this behavior tree can switch between uh, these two sequences right here and the condition is also set up correctly now let me go back into the move player so now we are going to get the player location so we need a blackboard key reference so we are going to get the blackboard value as a vector and we are going to promote this to a variable and this variable is going to be called player location the player location has to be public and now you can see that right here and change it to player location and make sure that all the variables match the blackboard key so let me just check that player location player location 
player location player location so that is good i'm going to select this condition right here and we are going to add a observer a bots to this so on result change we are going to add an abort condition so we are going to abort self that means as soon as the ai sees the player as soon as this cannot see condition changes abort the self so it will not run this and now let's play this so when he can see me he follows me and when i move out of his sight he randomly moves and yeah that's it hope you like this video and leave a like down below it helps a lot and i'm going to see you in the next video bye